it's the first time I opened the game. I just opened it up to see that uh, it works with my uh, layout. So I haven't touched anything. So everything can go wrong or right. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Welcome to Planet Zoo. Uh, we'll create an avatar of yourself. That's great. Create my avatar. Let's create an avatar. I am a grandma, apparently. Okay, sure. Uh, <coughs> I'm an adult, first of all. Thank you very much. And I'm a large adult. <laughs> um, ooh. Can I be a black, black guy? No, I can't, unfortunately. I'm not balding, though. Is this like a face... Uh, Hmm. Let's go with this one. I don't know. Does it matter? Of course it matters. That's that's the mindset, right? In these games, everything matters. Like, extremely matters. Let's do this. I like this guy. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. This may be the closest, I think. This is too too cool for me, right? This this is the closest. Oh, we gotta have a cool beard. <laughs> Look at this. But don't you have a full beard? Come on. What is this? That's the color of it. Can have a different color. No, okay, it's the hair color in general. Okay. Well, it's this for sure. But why can't I have a full beard? I'm very disappointed. Oh, there we go. There's. The fullest beard that we have in here. Okay. Fine. Have me some glasses. What is this? I'm a t-shirt guy for sure. But you don't do stripes, right? You don't want to look fat. <laughs> Wait. Is there a color for the other thing? I saw two colors here. No? Was I wrong? Oh, there it is. No. I wasn't wrong, but I thought the pants... Oh, okay, there's the pants. So, well, we're zooming it up, right? So we're not going to uh, walk around in, uh, in jeans or anything. Let's be uh, one with nature. Right? Let's have, like, these uh, yellowy things. Ooh, stripy ones. This looks much more, much cooler than I, I usually dress. <laughs> Look at this giant head. It looks like a, a bowling ball on his head. All right, this is good enough. All right, where are we going? We are going to Israel, obviously. Guys, come on. Boop. Are you sure you can edit this later? Wait, where am I placing us? Can't I zoom in? Well, this is fine. Like, I can put myself on the ocean here. Let's just do this. Yeah, this is good. All right. The south side of Israel, apparently. What is this? More people? Do I have other people around? Okay, so I have the Tiger Franchise Community Goal. Don't know what that means, but sure. So we can do a career. We progress through a career in zoo management. We can do a franchise. Build, build zoos all around the world and trade your animals online. Uh, this is really what I want to do. But I guess we have to learn a bit before we do that. So maybe we'll do a career and then we'll start out. Because I want to do a, a cat zoo, but... Uh, but this is uh, this is franchise. But I think this is uh, getting into already built zoos, as far as I remember from seeing. Yeah. All right. Goodwin House, stately homeschooling. Sure. This is the tutorial. So let's do that. And once we finish with this, we're going to make our own zoo. Uh, renovated and renamed after its purchase by Bernard Goodwin in the eighties. Goodwin House since become one of the most respected zoos in the country. Um, it's in the UK, I see. Okay, cool. Let's go. You're hearing this music? Oh, you're not hearing the game sounds at all. How dare I? There we go. 
Very African. Put in the electric guitar with it as well. Can adjust camera settings, blah blah blah. All the paths can help reduce crowd congestion. Wider path. Okay, sure. There we go. Ooh. Look at the graphics loading. All right. We're back, I think. Jeez, that was some hard crashing. Um, okay. Well, as I said... As I said, the stream is going to be uh, interesting. Um, it's the first time I opened it, and apparently we have some uh, video card issues. So I'm going to try and resolve it quickly. Come on, little bear. You can do it. Get us to where we need to. Oof. Been a busy day with the YouTube videos. Oh, there we go. All right. Tell me if it's still very choppy for you. It is a bit still, isn't it? Oh, oh, sorry about that. All right, can we skip your? Uh... No, we can't skip this, unfortunately. It's good to finally meet you. We can skip the thing there. Although I insist, you call me Bernard. Still choppy. Even right now, and it's not in the cutscene. Yeah, it is very choppy. I see. Okay. Let's uh, try and uh, look at the settings again. I don't think it saved anything. No, it didn't save anything. We can try without the V-Sync. Again, I think that would be better. Although it caused us to do to have some horrible crash. As you know, I own several zoos, but I always like to show people the road. Less choppy, for sure. This is the first zoo I ever hey, Twilly Dan, how are you doing? I'm trying to set up the fucking uh, <laughs> graphical settings so it doesn't crash on us again. Um, I fear I fear that my card is getting older. Let's do a high preset. All right, let's. Uh, there we go. Thanks to a lion breeding program we ran in the 80s. Looks better, doesn't it? <laughs> but we're in the middle of a big renovation, and that's where you come in. Sadly, our old contractor had to retire after developing a fur allergy. Uh, poor a devil fur allergy. His dentures into the lion habitat. So, it's up to you to finish everything off. Don't worry, though. Yeah. I'm not completely throwing you into the deep end. My head keeper, Nancy Jones, will be lending a help. Nancy hand. Jones. Oh, she's a hard worker, and she'll expect you to be too. But I'm sure you'll get along like a house How do you get to this zoo, better, right? One that isn't on fire. Less <laughs> shouting that way. <laughs> All right. There's Nancy. Hello there. From that rosy, fresh face of yours, I'm guessing you're Bernie's new hire. Good. Now, I hope you're ready to ditch your diploma because we're about to get really hands-on. But before we begin the real work, how mm -hmm. about we familiarize you with the zoo by learning how to fly around it and visiting some of our beautiful animals. Let's we'll visit some beautiful animals, guys. Nice. Look see at the grizzly bears in their habitat. All right, let's go to the uh, whatever habitat. What was it? Bear habitat? Yeah. Did you know that grizzly bears, also known as Ursus arctos horribilis, can hibernate for up to <laughs> horribilis. Wow. Oh, but then again, given the chance, I think a lot of people. Oh, that's so that cute! Too. Look at him! Look at his face! One of the bears, and you'll bring up its information panel. Boop. This oh, no. is where you can find out all kinds of information about your animal. The most important thing being its overall welfare. You'll learn more about animal welfare Boop the today snoot. as we go through your objectives. But for now, let's enjoy this magnificent Boop. animal. Why don't you select the camera at the bottom of its information panel? Uh, camera, sure. Ooh. See now, this is a fantastic way to get a close look at your animals. 
You can also get the <laughs> and he clips into a, a, a tree it. trunk. Move this loop. Okay, when you're ready, let's pop over to the other side of the zoo and take a look at the lions. I've marked the <gasps> location for you to lions, find. Lions, guys. Lions. Okay. We're gonna go for the lions. I was about to say I'm 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 pretty fine with staying there, but lions. Panthera Cats. Leo Leo. All the West African lion to you and me. <sighs> lions are the most social of the big cats, and there can be as many as forty lions in a pride. Oh, Look at you, girl. As the say, those lions are awesome, which is precisely why I handle the training instead these days. Anyway, how about we get started on those objectives? Ooh. Come on, let's head over to an empty habitat and see what needs doing there. But lions. Hold on. The lions. Come on. That's why we came in here. Oh, look at him. Yes. You are mighty. That's not what lions do in zoos, by the way. They just sleep in a corner. <laughs> so it's kind of nice to see them here. Okay. Uh, where are we going? Over there. All right. Cool. As you can see, it's a lovely space for animals, but it's lovely space. Something. Well, two somethings. Warthogs. <laughs> so I'd like you to adopt a pair of them. Ooh. To adopt animals, we need to open the animal market, which is in the animal trading section. Trading. All right. There we are. A pair of perfectly splendid warthogs for our zoo. Just mm. click on them and select adopt from the side menu. Normally, the animal exchange would be full of animals, but I've emptied out the market while you learn how it works. Aziza <laughs> and Finyang. Accidentally ordering a dozen elephants. <laughs> All right. When you adopt an animal, it's automatically placed in the trade center where they're held until animal you're storage. ready to move them into their habitat. Which, as it happens, you are. So, how about you move them into their new home? Mm hmm. What do we do here? Move. Boop. And move. Boop. When you ask for an animal to be moved into a habitat, your caretakers will go to the trade center, mm -hmm. collect your animal, and deliver Aww. them to your selected habitat. Right. I've marked the trade center's location, so let's go and watch the caretakers in action. Where did you mark it? Oh, there it is. All right. Well, as you can see, those caretakers don't hang about. They'll move those animals to their destination as fast as possible. Look at this of guy. Of course, normally we'd have to place the animals into quarantine before moving them into a habitat. But I am assured by a person of good standing that these warthogs are in the very rudest of health. Rudest. Right, let's get the warthogs' habitat finished up so we can keep them nice. Pigu. You see, each animal in the zoo has an overall welfare statistic, basically how happy they are. Oh. And that overall welfare statistic is itself comprised Two of four standing different areas. inside each other. Nutrition, social health, habitat, and enrichment. Luckily, if you select an animal, you'll bring up their animal welfare information mm. panel, which we saw earlier, where you can see how they're doing. That way, you'll know exactly what areas need to be addressed. Don't worry if that's a lot to remember. You can right, these check guys for more check out their lodging. All right, so why is there a welfare Let's like this? by making sure we're taking care of the warthog's nutrition mm. welfare. Yes, please. To do this, we'll need to place a food station and a drinking station. Now... Each animal requires a different type of feeding station. And for the warthogs, mm. it's a small feeding trough. So let's add one of those and a water bowl. Small feeding trough. Food trough, small. There we go. You got it. All right. What else? Did it say where exactly? And water bowl? Yeah, a large water bowl, sure. Uh, boop. Animals also require stimulation to keep them happy. Mm -hmm. Let's add a lovely mud bath for the warthogs to Ooh. roll around in. That bath will count towards <laughs> to the roll around in. Specifically their toy enrichment welfare. So where we do this? Heaters and coolers, bed and shelters, enrichment items. Mud bath. To roll around in. Sure. Oh, nice work. You've got a knack for this, I see. Now, 
Our contractor had to leave in a hurry, so this place is in a feral state. Unfinished thingamajigs and waxits all over the shop. But the first thing we need to finish is the ostrich habitat. It's over near the hippos. But 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 the warthogs, they're still pretty bad. Eat, my friend. Eat. Is it getting better? It is getting better. An enrichment will get better once they go into the mud. Look at these guys. I like the... They really invested a lot in uh, how the animals look and all that. It's nice to see. Oh, he's clipping a bit. Yay! All green. And are you going to the mud bath now? I want to see them do a mud bath. Yes! Yes, girl. <laughs> and she just stands here? Come on, roll around. You need to roll. How did she do it? Roll. Don't have it. Roll around in it, right? No? Okay, well, screw that. Um, what are we doing in the ostrich one? Boop. Okay, I'm here. Hello? Oh, before we actually start building our ostrich habitat, let's pause the game. Just click the pause button in the bottom right corner. Is space gonna do it as well? No, unfortunately. Ah, that's more like it. A quick break. Sometimes it's a good idea to pause the game whilst you're doing something which requires your concentration because it'll stop the zoo spinning out of control while you're looking the other way. Let's keep the game paused while we get this ostrich habitat built. Mm -hmm. Okay, job number one here is to add a habitat gate before we complete the barrier. Every habitat needs a habitat gate. After all, how else would the keepers get in and out? <laughs> Just make sure it's hooked up to the path so the keepers can reach it. Barriers. All right. So we got a habitat gate, and we're gonna put it here. Oh no. Oh, okay. We I have to like point it upwards. Right. There we go. Let's complete the perimeter barrier so we can adopt us some ostriches. I've marked out an area for you to use, so I'd like you to finish off the perimeter using the brick barrier. No, no. Come on. Help me out here. There we go. Alright. Is there... Yeah, I can do this. There we go. What's the sections it's built now, though? Pretty sh short ones. So let's not do it much different. Let's make it look the same. Strength and unity, everybody. <laughs> you should know that one, Deathwatch. animals in any habitat it has to have a full loop of connected barrier now you've probably noticed that guests can't actually see into this habitat at the moment yeah at least not without a step ladder but seeing as they're banned i'd like you to select a piece of barrier and swap out the brick for a glass barrier so the guests can see in let's do this and let's have this section Like so, maybe? Can you swap? Oh, I haven't swapped it out yet. Can I swap it out? There we go. There we go. Adding okay. in more windows gives guests even more opportunities to see the animals. Oh, in I can't habitat. put any more. Okay. It's always best to make sure the guests can get a good view into a habitat from the path they're walking on. Because it makes them happy. And because this would be a pretty terrible zoo if they couldn't. The last thing we need to do is to add a donation box. You see, when guests enjoy the view of an animal, they'll make a donation. Just make sure you put them in easy to reach places like near a viewing point. Donation boxes are one of the main sources of income for the zoo, so make sure you remember them. Now, 
Before we adopt our ostriches, you should click the play button. After all, if the game's paused, then so are our caretakers, which will make it a bit tricky for them to deliver the ostriches, eh? Alright. By the way, as well as pausing the game, you can speed the game up by clicking on the fast forward button. It'll run everything at two times and five times faster. It can be useful, especially if you're waiting for money to accumulate or for animals to be delivered to your habitat. Mm -hmm. Personally, I use it when I'm waiting for a brew to finish. <laughs> All right, you've finished the habitat, so it's high time we adopted those ostriches, don't you think? Let's get four of them in here. Four. Ooh, look at this prize ostrich. Yajid. Sure. One, two, Gahiji. Japira. Kibibi. <laughs> Who's the worst? This guy's the worst. Alright. Worst ostrich. Alright. Let's uh, move him here. And move him here. And him. And him. While we wait for them to be collected by the caretakers and brought to the habitat, you should get it ready for them. Mm -hmm. Add a suitable feeding station, water station, and an appropriate food enrichment item. It's often best to place things like enrichments and feeding stations near to the habitat perimeter so guests can get a really good view of the animals. Mm, all right. So, like, have the slow feeding one right in front of it. Um, let's give them a look here. And water trough. Let's put it down here. Woo! Oh, good to see the ostriches have somewhere. West African lion. Really stretch their legs. Did you know they can actually run at 43 miles per hour? Oh, oh heaven forbid they ever escape. <laughs> the speed camera finds alone would bankrupt us. Well, but he certainly seems impressed. Ooh. Did he do his speed camera joke? This is the prize Every one. Every time we get an ostrich. So now we've made the ostriches' lives a bit better. How many times again an ostrich? For the keepers, shall we? To make it easier for the keepers to feed the ostriches and hippos, we should build a new keeper hut. Keeper huts are where the keepers prepare the food for animals, so they should be placed mm. near to the habitats to make sure the keepers don't waste their time walking when they should be looking after the animals. Uh, can you fuck off? Thank you. Uh, keeper hut, a planet zoo, small hut. Classic. You'll need to rotate the keeper hut to get it to connect up to the path. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. There we go. Raise lower. Let's shift and then rotate with Z. All right. Advanced mode. <laughs> what is advanced? Oh, okay. Right. Cool. All right. That's fine. Can I, uh. Opa. There we go. And um, shift to raise and lower, maybe. Let's. Uh, no, we want advanced mode again then. Um, Alright, this is good. Um, Confer placement of this. Cancel placement of this. Okay. There we go. This keeper hat only has space for one keeper. But the larger keeper hut can allow multiple keepers to prepare food at the same time. Oh, mm -hmm. but bear in mind that keeper huts and other staff facilities shouldn't be placed near to areas where there are lots of guests. Guests don't like seeing facility buildings and it can affect Ooh. their happiness. Negatively. <laughs> In case that wasn't. Oh, uh, hippo. Something that all facilities, shops, oh, and all of other objects need is power. And that obviously includes your newly built keeper hut. So let's place a transformer next to it, shall we? Mm, all right. Right next to the keeper hut. Sure. Now, the reason everything has gone blue is because you're using the power heat map. This map allows you to see what is and what isn't powered in your zoo. So once you've placed your transformer, you can click in the bottom left to turn the heat map off. 
Bottom left, okay. Well. Lovely work. Now the keepers can start using the hat to prepare food. And thanks to where you put it, they will need to walk very far to deliver it to the ostriches and hippos. Let's get on to your next objective then. Bengal tigers. Ooh, cats. We want to adopt some, but I'm afraid there's nothing ready for them yet. Mm. Head on over to the plot of land I've marked out. It's not too far away. We're here. Pretty. Your next job is to build a habitat from scratch. <laughs> and concrete and glass, I expect. So go ahead and build it. Just make sure that the habitat includes that big hole we've dug. Oh, and don't forget to add a habitat gate to the barrier. Mm. All right, so I'm building oh, on my own sure now. The will be able to see the tigers. Yeah, anything else, Betty? All right. Well, we got some places here. They ha they really like that classic fence thing. So let's uh, make this. Mm, Want to make it a longer line? Line maybe? Yeah. Let's do it like this. And let's curve it up a bit. All right. Bam. Bam. Thank you, ma'am. Just uh, rushing through this right now, just so we can... Uh, Finish the tutorial, and we can make our own cat zoo. Cat zoo is going to be great. Right? Right, everybody? Of course it's going to be great. It's cat zoo. There we go. No? You're not allowing this to happen? Why? Why not? Why the hell not? Panel too long. Okay. Well, let's make it up to here then. Is this better? Yeah. Okay. Great. Uh, let's make a habit at gate. Uh, where are they mostly walking? In here, not on this side. So let's make a habit at gate on this side. Now, Bernie takes safety very seriously at his zoos, so we should probably make sure those tigers can't jump out of their habitat, don't you think? <laughs> the way we'll do it is by changing the height of the habitat's barrier. Okay then, you should start by double-clicking the habitat barrier, which will take you into barrier editing mode. Um. Great, now highlight the entire perimeter of the habitat. You can do that by clicking and dragging the barrier selection tool. Can I? Is this the barrier selection tool? Yeah, okay. Alright, so... Oh, jeez! No, no, no. No, <laughs> that's not what I meant. Okay. Um, but what, what am I dragging here? Not this. Come on, can you let me do the thing? Yeah, there you go. That's what she wanted. Alright. Now you've got all of the perimeter selected, you can increase the height of it by clicking and dragging the barrier height tool upwards. Mm -hmm. You'll want to make sure it reaches a height of at least 3.7 meters. 3.7, you say. Uh, let's make it so. Now that the habitat is in place, don't forget to put down a donation box near to your viewing areas. We Hold on, I don't have a viewing area yet. <laughs> Especially as these tigers aren't exactly eating instant noodles for lunch. Um, oh, this is a transformer here. Shall we make this whole thing into... Uh, boop. And this too. No, come on. What's the problem? I don't understand. Hold on. 
What, what is this? Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm sorry I asked. Okay. Can I make this? Come on. Make it into a thing. No? It doesn't want to. Why did I do it before? Okay, can we go to barriers again? Ah, oh, it won't let me for some reason. Did this work? No. I can't change it. Why the hell not? Ah! <laughs> I think this is what happens in these games to everybody. You get stuck on a thing. Um, can we uh, move it? Oh yeah, okay. We can do like this, whatever. Um, fine. Can we just turn it into a thing? Why the hell not? Glass. Glass? One-way glass. I think it doesn't let me because of the tutorial, right? Because you see, I'm trying to and it cancels it. Alright, what did she say? She wanted me to do what? What do you want? What's my objective? No, blah, 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 blah. Place a donation box. All right, you really want me to place a donation box right now? Let's do it then. Um, there we go. Okay, that's you the happy? habitat boundary complete. The habitat gate's in place, and most importantly, the tigers won't be able to jump out of it anymore. Well, I, I want glass. <laughs> oh, you're a pain in the ass. Okay, sure. Let's do some animal trading then. Ooh. Navia and Ranbeer. Look at these, 12k. Oh my god. It's gonna be expensive to make my uh, cat zoo, isn't it? I love them. Let's, let's put some hearts on them. I don't know what it does, but we're gonna put some hearts on them. Right? Guess it's a favorites thing, but I don't care. He's... He's Whilst our trusty caretakers collect and deliver the tigers, let's take a look at preparing the habitat for their arrival. Our arrival. We'll start with the basics. Add a suitable feeding station for them. Food tray large. We're gonna put the food tray right here. Um. Boop. This time, instead of adding a water bowl, let's try something different. Some animals need a pool in their habitat so they can go for a swim, but they can also use it to drink from. All you have to do is make sure the banks of the pool have a gentle slope so they can easily get a nice, refreshing drink. There's already a pool excavated, but you still need to fill it with water. You should do that by going into terrain and selecting the water tool. Where's the terrain? Place your mouse on the side of the hole and wait for the line to turn blue and place the water. Where's the terrain though? Terrain. There we go. Alright, so we want some water. There we go. This. Yes, that'll do nicely. Of course, just like oh. the dogs and ostriches, these tigers will also need some enrichment. Why don't you add some suitable toy and food enrichment items into their habitat? What were you saying? I wasn't listening. <laughs> Look at this guy. Or girl. Girl. Look at this girl. Where's the dude? <gasps> Here's the dude. Hey, dude. Aww. Look at you. Kitty. You're going for a swim? Go for a swim. Come on, you can do it. He's drinking. Look at his little cat tongue. Aww. Alright, 
Sorry. <laughs> what the fuck were you trying to say? Toy and food enrichment item. Okay. Um, frozen blood pumpkin. Ugh. Um, rubbing pad. Okay. We're gonna give you a frozen blood pumpkin and a rubbing pad. Let's put it here. Okay, it's really starting to take shape. Now, the tigers will need a shelter in their habitat so mm. they can hide from the guests. Or more likely, the bad weather. Although, given that we're in England, you might want to think of that just as normal weather. <laughs> Go on, add a shelter to their habitat. You can either build one from various suitable bits and bobs, or if you like, just pop down the blueprint that I've already built for you. Um, okay. This is a giant one, for sure. Uh, Okey doke. Is this good? Ooh. Okay. Bam. Oh, poor dabs. I'm sure it can't have escaped your attention that the tigers look a bit miffed. That's Miff. because they aren't too keen on the type of terrain in their habitat. Mm. Select a tiger and bring up its information panel. Okay. Rightio. Click on the terrain tab. That way you can view the terrain information and see how they feel about the different types of One more soil. That'll tell you what the tigers need more of more or less of in this habitat. Alright. Okay then, so open the terrain grass. editing tool, select painting, and give them some more soil. Yes, that should help with the habitat part of their welfare. Oh, it's too much long grass. Okay, sorry. You want soil. Soil heavy or soil light? You don't care. Okay. Soil light. Let's do this. Soil heavy. Alright, we got enough soil. There's too little short grass now. There we go, let's do a bit more. Um, and a bit more soil as well. Um, like a bit more soil here, maybe. Where else did I put the long grass? Maybe uh, this is long grass, right? Right then. All animals need plants and trees from their own biome or continent. You know, deserts, savannas, or Asia, Europe, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. It looks like these tigers need a few more plants in their habitat. To get a perfect fit, use plants from the rainforest and temperate biomes that are native to Asia. Although if you have to, you can get away with using just one or the other. The tigers will also want a certain amount of their habitat to be covered by those plants. To find out which plants to use and how many, select a tiger and go to the environment tab. Environment tab. Alright. Um, no preference for climbable. No preference for water. Um, where is the plants? Now, oh, as there you can is. see, some of the plants currently in the habitat aren't quite right for the tiger, like mm. the wattle bushes. You can remove them if you want. Yes, I do. You can find all of the plants you need in the nature section, and you can use the filters to only show the types of plants you want to see. In this case, that's plants from the rainforest or temperate biomes. Rainforest and temperate. Uh, where's the rainforest? Tropical, you mean? Tropical, yeah. That's what she means. Tropical, temperate, and grassland. On continent, we want Asia. There we go. Alright, so now... We can place some of those. Um, so, banana palm... 
We don't want banana stuff. Bengal bamboo. That can be nice. Ooh, that's a big boy. Look at this giant thing. All right. Let's put a couple of those. Um, common reeds, maybe. How many does he want? Uh, he wants more coverage. Let's see. Uh, Bracken. Holly tree. Let's put a couple of them. Um, we can put like a coconut palm here. Uh, what about some bigger bushes for you guys? Uh, ah. This. And... Elephant ear plan. Now oh, that's nice, isn't it? Let's put a couple of views with some something else, like another bracken or two. Now what are the wrong ones? This what is this? Hawkthorn Acacia. Uh, where is it? Where is the offender? Hmm. I don't see it. Was it here before? Uh, where is the goddamn cage you thing? Open up palm, bangle, bamboo. Is it this? No, this is something I placed. Holy tree is fine. Bracken should be good. What's bothering you? Come on, tell me. Hookthorn acacia tree. Where is it? There wasn't a tree in here before I... Oh, maybe it's that? Yeah, there it is. All right. Now you should be liking all your plants, first of all, right? What is this? The common reeds you don't like? Unsuitable plant. Okay, these can go. Um, let's put down another... Um, but these are on the list. Maybe I uh, didn't do it exactly right. But they seem to like these bushes, so let's put some bushes right next to... The thing, uh, like so maybe, and like so. There we go. Be another one. There we go. What do you say now, uh, dude? Are you happy? Almost. He loves the plants. Trap plan on coverage is severely inappropriate. Severely. I wouldn't say it's severely appropriate. It's just a bit inappropriate. Come on, don't don't get angry. It's fine. It's fine. Holy tree. Let's put some maybe another one of those here. They need a lot of uh, shrubs, don't they? Is this good? Come on, tiger. When are you going to be happy about it? Is this a thing that you like? I hope so, because uh, we're going to put it in. Ooh. Bam! Bam! They say the mm -hmm. good fences make good neighbors. I guess that's doubly true when one of the neighbors is a Bengal tiger. <laughs> Still, 
Those tigers look so happy that I doubt they'd leave. I have the Even tiger. If you did poke a hole in their fence. <laughs> oh, but for heaven's sake, don't test that theory. <laughs> right. Let's head over to the Indian peafowls. I've been told that we need to improve their social welfare. I can I please just fix this? It is so annoying. I want to make this glass because it. I did make a viewing into this place, right? But it won't let me. It just won't let me. They decided to skip this stage, and I can't build anything, right? Oh well. 